having a really good day. If you're new to my channel, my name is Taylor and I come to you from Baltimore, Maryland. And on my YouTube channel here, I feature content that is focused on knitting and spinning. And I also host the Thread to Men podcast series of videos. If you're interested in sitting down with me in a longer format, it's closer to 30 or 40 minutes. I share with you all the things that I'm making in real time, as well as the process and things that kind of come up for me along the way. Um, so I do post those quite regularly these days. If you're interested and haven't already, please do subscribe. And if you hit the bell, you'll get notifications for when I have new content uploaded. If you like this video, do please help me out and give it a thumbs up. It helps me so much in growing my channel here. If you don't like my content, you can give it a thumbs down. Also, I am not offended. I understand everyone's looking for something unique here on YouTube, and I hope that you might enjoy something I have to share. Um, and in this video, I'm excited to announce my new pattern release on Ravelry. It is the Globe Braid Bra, which I'm featuring here. And it is a pattern that is graded in nine sizes. So they range from 30 to 32 inches up to 62 to 64 inches. If you would like to knit this pattern and you're not included in that range of 30 to 64 inches, please send me an email at thread to mend at gmail.com. Let me know both your rib cage measure as well as your bust measure and I can grade this pattern to fit you so that you are included in this process. I simply didn't have test knitters that could test all sizes for me, so I had to just kind of choose nine sizes and run with those. Um, but do please reach out to me if you would like me to expand the size range. Now, this is a design that is a knit bra, as you can see. I will kind of pull it down, my, my yellow cardigan down, so that you can see the full shape. Um, and it's knit from the bottom up, and we knit a one by one rib that fits our rib cage measure with some negative ease. And that is because when you, if you haven't knit bras before, what tends to happen is the, especially if you're using a wool yarn, which I do suggest because wool yarn has this life to it that will expand and contract when you wear it and you wash it. So I did wear this bra for a few days and then washed it after I blocked it, wore it, washed it, and now I'm wearing it again to show you because I wanted to make sure that it didn't just look like it fit, but it actually fits. And something that I think is crucial to that is choosing a rib cage band that fits the proper measure of your unique rib cage. Sometimes we go off of just the bust size and that will, your garment will fit differently relative to not just your bust, but also your rib measure. Um, if you don't want your knit bra to kind of start to lift and you know, just be too big for your ribs. So I wanted to make sure to emphasize the importance of your rib cage measure. And um, you're choosing a size that matches your rib cage measure and increasing till you match your bust measure, all the while working this simple cable chart pattern, um, which is charted, uh, rather simple to read. You are knitting in the round throughout the duration of the chart, so um, rather simple. And then you, after the last cross, sorry, that was my chair, <laughs> um, but after the last cross of the cable pattern, you split to knit the decrease shaping to each cup, as well as the I-cord strap. There is an I-cord edge to all sides of this pattern, so it is very resilient. It is one that I think will hold up very well. Um, I have knit other bras before that don't have that type of edging, and I did end up breaking the yarn. I think probably putting it on or off. I kind of broke some of the stitches along the sides there. So I do think that this pattern will hold up quite well. And then in the back, I'd like to show the back central cable panel. So that same globe braid motif is featured along the back side as well with a couple extra twi uh, two by two cable turns 
so that it raised the motif higher in the back than in the front. And then once again, the cables split to form the same I-cord strap, which you graft together with something like a kitchener stitch and weave in the ends and there you have it, the globe braid bra. Now, as you can tell, I am a very small busted person, um, but because of the nature of this design and the amount of fabric you have in the center, it will expand to accommodate a bust size much larger than mine, even if knit in the same chosen size. Um, something that I would recommend for anyone who has a larger than large bust is to consider knitting straps that are much longer than mine here so that the bra is not fitting you as high on the chest as it does for me. Um, but instead, you're making sure that the ribbing sits below your bust and then you're um, extending the length of the strap so that your bra will sit a little bit lower on the chest to accommodate your bust size. Um, so I hope that that is helpful. If you would like a modification idea, I have one brewing in my mind. I'm going to consider including it in a future design. I just want to make sure that it is tested and sound before I publish it in a pattern that I'm writing. So if you're interested in modifications though for large busts, do reach out to me as well, um, especially if you purchase this pattern. I'd love to help you make it fit exactly right for you. So just reach out to me and I can help you with that. And this is the globe braid bra. You might be wondering, what is it made with? What do I need? Well, I knit this bra with Green Mountain Spinnery's Cotton Comfort Yarn. It's a DK weight yarn. They're sold in two ounce skeins and it took just one two ounce skein to knit the smallest size. It's one that I knit in like two days. I, I was quite excited to do it, but I, I finished it very quickly. And um, it would probably be a really good gift this holiday season if you wanted to make something special for someone because um, it does require so little time, but it does have, I think, a high impact in terms of like intricacy. It's not a challenging pattern, I don't think. I would love to know um, what more of my test knitters think in terms of its difficulty rating. It does include the cable motif, which is charted, um, but also charted, um, but also many different forms of decreases um, because you're knitting both sides, different directions, front and back. Anyway, Yes, so that is the Globe Braid Bra. Again, Knit in Cotton Comfort, a DK weight yarn. Um, Cotton Comfort is made by Green Mountain Spinnery. If you've never heard of their yarns, I would definitely check it out. They're rather affordable. And I did purchase this Cotton Comfort yarn as the base of yarn I chose to naturally dye that I still have for sale in my Etsy store. And to help me just liquidate what little yarn I have left, I have it right here actually in a little basket. I have this yarn for sale that I naturally dyed in my Etsy store. I'm including in the pattern a 20% off coupon code to save on my yarns. If you would like to purchase any of these yarns I naturally dyed to knit your own bra. Um, but if you want to just save 20% off on the bra pattern, I'm giving my viewers of YouTube a coupon code here for you to save 20% off this pattern through the end of November 2020. So um, do check it out. It is on Ravelry. I will leave it a link to it in the description box below. And if you purchase the pattern, you'll get the coupon code to my Etsy shop. So that's it. I wonder if you like it, if you love it, if you want to wear it, let me know in a comment below. And thank you so much for watching my video here on YouTube. I am so glad that you made it to this channel. And I want to thank all of my new viewers that might have found me from Christy Glass Knits. Tell me about your Rhinebeck sweater video. I see that there are some of you out there that just joined us and I am so glad you're here. So if you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're not new and you're a longtime viewer, I see you. I am glad that you're here also. And I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Take care.